Instagram ads, celebrity endorsements, social media influences. I'm partnering up with Monash IVF, who are going to help me freeze my eggs. Even pop-up stalls in shopping centres. The marketing says it's about investing in your future. Put your eggs on ice so you can chill about the biological clock. According to the latest data, the number of Australian women who froze their eggs tripled in the five years to 2020. Women are doing it younger and increasingly not for any medical reason, but by choice. I'm Anna Maxwell, I'm 24 and I am going to freeze my eggs. For me, it didn't make me feel any stronger about the situation. I'm 32 and I froze my eggs because I'm an athlete. For me it is worth it because even if I don't end up with a family, I know that I at least tried. Strength what they'll be looking for. Kick out of defence. Centenary taking to the air. As a professional AFLW player, Jessica Segenary's job is not conducive to a pregnancy and she's not ready to give up her career yet. So, like a growing number of Australian women, she just spent thousands of dollars to try to freeze her fertility. I had my heart set on getting 15 eggs because that's the number that I was told would give me an 80% success rate um, of having one child in the future and I fell short at 10. Like IVF, the egg freezing process starts by a woman injecting herself with hormones over several days to stimulate the ovaries before a surgical procedure to extract multiple eggs. The more eggs the doctor retrieves, the better your chances of having a baby in the future. I've heard 10 is still a really good number and something that I'm thankful for getting, but obviously having to make the next decision on whether I decide to do this again and spend another 11 and a half grand and whether I can afford that right now is um, a little bit heartbreaking. It's certainly not uncommon to go through more than one stimulated cycle in order to get enough uh, eggs frozen to give them the best probability of a live birth in the future. Depending on the woman's age, 15 to 40 eggs could be needed for a strong chance of a live birth in the future. The average number of eggs collected tends to decline with age. But freezing early can come at a cost. Annual storage fees can add up quickly. Also, women under 30 have a higher risk of developing ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, a rare side effect of using fertility drugs. It is a medical procedure, it is not without risk. Equally, there's no absolute guarantee that they're going to get a live birth out of this. Dr Tamara Hunter says she advises about half the women who come to see her about egg freezing to hold off. Less than one in 10 women actually come back to use these eggs. It's a big step financially, physically, mentally and socially to take if you're never actually gonna act on it. Some IVF clinics are using social influencers to promote the option. Anybody who is watching this who has been considering freezing their eggs or taking control of their own fertility, I want to inspire you to do the same. Monash IVF recently had to defend criticism over its paid partnership with Melbourne influencer Tully Smythe, telling 730 partnerships with social influencers are about opening up conversations about fertility while Smythe stated that she doesn't see how this is any different to partnering with a laser eye clinic and that many women still aren't aware of their options and she wants to spread awareness. It's so important to me to be as authentic and honest and raw as I possibly can in this process. I think the line is when it is made to seem really easy and straightforward. Because if it's made to look really simple, really easy, really glamorous, and an absolute guarantee to an outcome, that's the wrong messaging, because it, it simply isn't the truth. They thought they were gonna get a lot more eggs, but they retrieved nine and only five of them were viable. After spending around $15,000, 36-year-old Alice Bichelle now has five eggs on ice. 
She says she underestimated how sick the hormone drugs would make her. I woke up in the morning and was really, really sick, vomited everywhere in the shower and it was the same type of thing. I didn't realise I was going to be sick, it just happened like instantly. And she overestimated the payoff. I think that there is a lot of conversation around taking control and empowerment, but it's something I wish I didn't have to do. If you come to freeze your eggs when you're too old, so, you know, over 37, 38, the egg quality will not be as good as it once was, and many women may be actually freezing their infertility. Dr. Devorah Lieberman is from City Fertility, which owns the egg storage business Chill Egg Freeze. Dr. Lieberman says whilst it depends on the individual, between 32 and 35 is generally a good age to egg freeze. But the Chill Instagram page suggests egg freezing is something to start thinking about as early as 20. Why market it to people in their early 20s mm. if you're saying that it's not really a good idea? Well, again, I think it's important for women, for men, if they're concerned about their future fertility, to get the information. 24-year-old medical student Anna Maxwell plans on freezing her eggs later this year. I don't think I'm going to regret spending this money because I hope and trust that future me will think you were just doing something to secure what was important to you. But Dr Lieberman advised her to wait. The doctor I saw was baffled, kind of. Well, not baffled, but a bit, why would you? Why would you do this at 24, 25 with no medical issues, no stress or like family history of infertility? At 24, with very good ovarian reserve, there was no rush. But if a woman wants to freeze her eggs, I'm not going to deny her um, the ability to do that. Anna Maxwell did her own research before making her decision and says she's always wary of advertising. I can only see it becoming more popular as people try and close the gap between the differences in female experience of family planning alongside having a career in that and male experiences of the same. Overlap with it, it's a good kick. Lethal from 50, he unleashes! In Jessica Segenary's field, that gap seems pretty stark. They're out there playing and they've got their kids um, and their family all sitting there and it's super wholesome. I've just spent all of this money in the hope that I might be able to have it one day. I think 10 eggs gave me like 50% chance. So, you know, it is, um, it does feel unfair sometimes. 